The turnout's been amazing. Listen, this support, we're definitely going to win for this. We're rock solid, yeah? And what we're doing here now, staying together, staying strong, we will win this and we carry on doing it, yeah? Is everyone still up for it? Yeah! yeah. 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 I've been in disputes with the CWU and the Union of Communication Workers, it was back in the 90s. And this is the most passionate I've seen people. People are, are, are you know, really coming out of the woodwork, are generally quite quiet, are really expect, you know, getting involved. When we're at work, we just get on with it and do what we need to do. And on days like this, when it's time to take action, we're out in full force. What's at stake is the very future, not just of your terms and conditions, but this industry, because we know what they want to do. Fully privatise this industry, break the company up, set up different terms and conditions, bring people in on 20% less wages, working more hours than you do, driving you out. Gig economy style practices, gig economy wages. That's what this dispute is about. And we are not going to stand by and allow them to do what they want to do. They are making uh, moves to, to cut the company up and to uh, farm out the letters, uh, farm out the parcels, and basically you know, just become uh, another courier service uh, as far as the parcel delivery is concerned, and then the let letters will be dealt with somewhere else. Having people basically buying their routes, stuff being franchised, it will be a kind of a cowboy, cowboy setup. They're just interested and focused on parcels. Um, they probably look at companies like Amazon and look at the profit that they make. And, they want to go down that route. The way that Amazon workers have been treated over the past how many years, I can imagine these, these people want to do pretty much the same thing to us um, and completely wipe out 500 years of history and the way we've worked. There'll be no real guarantees, I think, for, for people, either integrity of the mail or, or, or uh, security of service of um, uh, guarantee deliveries, etc. etc. I think it's yeah, people will be paying an awful lot more for, for their post. They haven't been uh, discussing a lot of this stuff with the CW, they're trying to impose a lot of these things and um, going around the CW um, and they're trying to come across, they're trying to de-recognise us, you know. And they just want to put a lot of these things in, in, in place without negotiation. I'm a 25-year man, there's other people there have done much more than that, 30 years. Uh, we've got people 43 years in the office. And what is happening now, I think, would not have happened had we been state-owned. The problems that we're encountering would have been dealt with through a procedure that we had in place then. So it's a bad deal for the public, it's a bad deal for the employees, uh, and ultimately uh, the only people who are going to benefit are the shareholders, the big hedge funds, and obviously Simon Thompson and his mates. And every time this employer attacks us, and the latest attack was that we're going to lose 10,000 jobs, every time they make announcements like that, we get stronger. And our picket lines get bigger. This is just uh, bully boy tactics. I mean, you know, saying in the middle of negotiations, uh, oh, by the way, we're going to uh, wipe out 10,000 jobs. And we got people in here who we believed they were, they'd been employed and they were substantial employees. They were permanent. And we found out uh, a couple of weeks ago that there's seven of them are what's called fixed term contracts. So they're the kind of people who would be included in that 10,000. You know, they'll just say, we're not gonna renew your contracts, off you go. Quite frankly, it really, really grates me when a man who's only done three years in his company can tell someone like me and many of you, I've done 43 years in this company. I'm not gonna have someone like him telling us what we should accept and what we should come to work with every day. Our terms and conditions over many, many years have been fought and won by all of you. This CEO is on his way out. He's finished. He's finished. He, uh, he is definitely He's finished. Out. Because yesterday he wrote to Dave saying that talks will now start, which is good, right? but he's not going to be in the room. It's clear he doesn't really want to negotiate and it's been treating all our workers with utter contempt, really. They seem quite positive, some of the talks going forward. We've only had the picture, we've got a bigger, bigger chance, yeah? The only reason why they are now back in talks is because they know the havoc that we will cause on this company 
when we take rolling action in November. Over three days, but you will only take one day. So there'll be different functions out on different days. And then by the way, we'll take another rolling action right up to when we have um, those cyber days, Black Fridays and, and those other things that, that go on uh, now uh, in, in late November. We will bring them to their knees. We'll have maximum effect on this company and minimum impact on your wages. As far as the public are concerned, I've, again, cheers. I've never, I've never seen so much support uh, expressed by the general public. Uh, you know, coming up, giving us food, uh, cupcakes, uh, ten pound notes to buy coffee with, etc., etc. It's really good. Uh, it's, it's good to feel wanted and appreciated. I haven't spoken to a lot of our members. I think, uh, and myself personally, the idea of a general strike and just get everyone out, I think, sits well with a lot of people. Um, if I'm, if I'm brutally honest, I don't know why we haven't had that conversation yet. Um, um, I think it's necessary. I think the workers of this country are under attack. Uh, trade unions are under attack um, and why not get everybody out and get us all out together and, and stand up to these Tories. I think people in this country are like postal workers. They've had enough. They've had enough of what's going on and it's time to fight back. We will win. Stand strong. Stand together. We're going to win this.